stupid. I'm not gonna let you get the chance. Hi there. Welcome back to another episode of This Old Range. I'm gonna show you how bad my cardio is. Here's a fire point. There's the targets. That's 15 feet. And for social distancing reasons, those KWA metal targets are spaced six inches apart. See Mr. Swan? Mr. Swan right there is 21 feet. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start right here. That pistol holstered right there. <sighs> Turn around, run to Mr. Swan, touch Mr. Swan on his little head, run back, Stop right at the edge of this table, the inside edge. Draw and fire one round at one target. That's it. If you miss, too bad, do it again. If you hit it, keep going, over and over. <sighs> Until you hit all six targets. This is gonna suck. So this is actually a variation of what I call the five minute drill. I actually do this in real steel with a paper target and a bunch of other. <sighs> it sucks. I used to do something similar to this in competition where we would use rifles the firing line was 25 meters and then Mr. Swan was at 50 meters. So you had to run 25 meters, get in the prone, fire one round, run back, do it again. In the prone, single feeding one round. This camera's shaky. I had a lot of energy drinks. Two hands. So yeah, this is gonna suck. It's a good cardio drill though. You need to do this. It sucks, but you need to do it. Humiliation. Kids. You don't have to do what I do, but I decock and completely reholster each time. I'm done. That's it.
picking up the whole tripod. I don't even care. <sighs> a few moments later. Hi, and we're back after like a 10 minute break in some water. So that is actually a variation of a drill that I personally do fairly often real steel uh, and that I have students do. So that's one of my, my camera's probably shaking a lot. Thanks, smooth features on the GoPro 8. Uh, but that drill is one of my fundamental shooting drills in, you know, life. Uh, I first did that at an army shooting competition for the California State National Guard, 2010, 2012, 2014, somewhere in there. Uh, that drill sucks, man. That is a real variation of what I actually do on a live range. And it sucks. Actually, it sucks worse because it's real steel. I make it a lot harder. So when continuing with social distancing, there are six targets, six inches apart, and I am approximately six feet from it. Now we're just going to do a bunch of like slow fire, fundamental stuff. We're going to do some kind of core drills, some fundamental drills that I teach when I do armed security training, when I teach concealed weapons training, when I actually teach students that pay me money to learn about this stuff, this is some of the variations of what I show them. Yeah, I do this for real, by the way. It's like, for money. That's what I do. So this is about uh, this is about what maybe the first week I've had this. And this is a thousand rounds. I don't think these are tracers. I think these are just green babies. They look super cool. Uh, but I haven't gone through this bag of thousand yet, which for a normal airsofter is usually unheard of, but you have to remember that I'm not playing a rec game. I'm training, I'm trying to get better. So a thousand rounds is really all you need depending on what you're doing. Still in the same can of gas too. Still in the same can of green gas. So I'm not going, I'm not going crazy. And all I have is two magazines. Another thing, is this kit doesn't have a speed loader but at least with the kwa m9 magazines you don't need a speed loader you just drop them in there i've been doing everything by hand because remember i'm not playing so i'm not trying to shoot a bunch of kids on a field i'm training so i only need one or two magazines i don't need a whole bunch of stuff you don't need a bunch of things to be better shooting drills can be anything as long as you understand that it needs to be designed to make you a better shooter you also have to have a learning mindset so if you miss a target, then you have to reestablish and reshoot. 
That's just part of the drill. Failures are part of training too. You have to just keep going. Unless you're doing a time drill. It also depends on what you're doing. If you're trying to do like a certain course of fire, you need to practice the course fire over and over again. If you're just looking to shoot, bro, just shoot. You're still doing better than everyone who's not doing it. Just train. Caber, who the f are you, nerd?